Well, hello, YouTubers, on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Lots of sunshine out here today, and of course, this makes me ambitious, and I'm going to be cleaning out my throttle body and the intake on this expedition, and I am going to show you how to do it without even taking anything apart. Yes, it can be done. Stay tuned. Let's check this out. All right, yeah, she's been running a little rough lately, and I got a good feeling that uh, it's going to have to be uh, cleaned out here. The old throttle body's probably gotten a little gummed up and all that. And I see a lot of guys that they, they clean out their throttle body. They go out and buy a can of this stuff here. And this is fairly reasonable. It's about uh, five bucks a can. And they uh, have to t either take off a hose or they can't figure out an excess point here to get in here and to be able to spray this in here when the engine's running. I want to show you how to do it and it's a very simple fix. Now on a lot of vehicles you can usually tap into a hose but the problem is when you tap into a hose and you start spraying this stuff the engine will die it's sucking too much air in and you got to run back over here and you got to grab the throttle and you got to keep it running and it's really a kind of a pain in the butt and the second thing is when you start moving uh, say your intake on mine, it has two MAP sensors down here, MAF sensors, I should say, mass airflow sensors. And if you start uh, disturbing the airflow across these when the engine is running, then it may throw on your check engine light. So you're opening up another can of worms that you're going to have to deal with later, clearing that check engine light. So uh, a lot of folks uh, will uh, just basically uh, deal with it, but I am just going to go ahead and show you a little trick here. Now, what you will need is a, a little screw like this guy here. Maybe a pick, or if you have a little drill, a little tiny bit, and what you want to do, you want to go up here somewhere. Now, this will work two ways. You can find a hose, an intake hose or somewhere, and, and just knock a little pinhole in it, and eventually uh, just uh, get you some tape, and we'll stick the nozzle down in there into the hose and we'll spray away while the engine's running then simply get you some uh, tape and tape up the hole or you can find your air cleaner or your uh, intake now on mine you can see the intake's pretty big and I'm pretty happy now uh, one thing here to note uh, make sure that you do it beyond the MAF sensor the mass airflow sensors you do not want to spray it up here and let it go past this because this here, uh, in order to clean these sensors, this is a different kind of uh, spray you got to use. This is something like uh, something called a mass airflow sensor cleaner. And this stuff here is designed to only clean your mass airflow sensor, which is sitting over there. So we're not going to need this. So I wanted to have this out here to uh, show you guys to make sure you don't get these two confused up. And uh, we'll just basically be using something called throttle body and air intake cleaner and this actually works pretty good so uh like i've said uh you can go up here and you can find a hose and tap into a hose or whatever and take your pick and knock a little itsy bitsy uh hole into the uh vacuum line and stick your hose in or you can go up here and on my uh, plastic intake here it's pretty big and this is going to work out a lot better for me so what i'll do i'll just find me a place here where i'm going to go ahead and knock a little hole in here i'm just going to knock a little hole here just to be able to stick this uh, little screw in here to plug it up later and uh, that will take care of a lot of things so uh, so let me go ahead and we'll knock a little hole in here and I'm doing this with one hand and holding the camera with the other and there's our little hole it doesn't have to be very big so we'll take that out and now you see the screw will fit right in there and we can plug this hole up now before we start cleaning this out and everything I want to go ahead and show you what my throttle body looks like here and I've already gone ahead and loosened up the clamp. So we'll pull this up like this, get it out of the way. And there it is. And see, so yeah, it's really dirty. So I would say that's part of the issue. And hopefully the camera is focused. I'm doing this on my cell phone, so it's a lot faster for me to shoot on my cell phone. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and we'll uh, start it up. Now, um, if you don't have an extra set of hands find your throttle cable here where we're kind of uh, where the stop is you can sometimes get you a piece of paper and put it here and if you don't uh, this will bring the idle up a little bit and this will help you but on the can it says do not spray constantly so you'll have to actually give it a little uh, throttle with one hand and you'll have to spray with the other so I'm gonna go ahead and put the paper in here for now just for video purposes so you can kind of watch me start this then eventually I'll have to uh, put the camera down and use both hands here and we'll go ahead and clean this throttle body up. Now uh, when you get ready to do this, all you got to do is uh, kind of take your tip 
and bend it a little bit. That way it'll shoot directly on that throttle body and everything. And that should aim it right where I want it and we should be able to clean it. Now you do have one more sensor right here. This is pretty easy to take off on most cars. Of course, uh, this is not gonna clean this, but if you wanna clean this, uh, there's simply two little 10 millimeter bolts there. You pop this off and you can shake this and spray it around and clean it out really good. But mainly we wanna clean out our intake, get the throttle body a little bit cleaner, and also uh, maybe get some of the uh, gunk off the valves as this runs. And we'll go ahead and basically use this entire can. So let's go ahead and start this vehicle up and see how she goes. Okay, now here we go. I've got my little piece of paper up there. Kind of bringing the idle up. And we'll take another can and we're just going to start spraying away. And uh, this is one way you can do it without opening up the system and causing issues down the road. I'm going to spray about half the can just constantly like this. And I'll put the camera down and I'll spray the other half, revving up the engine. And uh, we'll see what this throttle body looks like after it's been cleaned out. Okay, now I've got about half the can sprayed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down. And set the, bring the idle down a little bit and you can kind of hear me. And we'll let, the idle, we'll let it idle normally. Now I'll set the camera down. I'm gonna rev the uh, engine up a little bit and spray the rest of this in here. And we'll see how uh, that uh, intake looks there and that throttle body. And it takes about five to 10 minutes. There's quite a bit in these cans. So uh, we'll look at it here and see what we get, what kind of results we get. All right, guys, we're done spraying, and uh, I've just about used up the entire can. And uh, I tell you, it was uh, by the time I got the idle to come up pretty high, I noticed after about uh, two or three minutes, the idle, boy, it's, it's idling really much better now. And I'm going to prove a point here is a lot of times you can't clean your um, throttle body without this air cleaner stuff off. When you open up the system, here's what normally happens. Watch when I pull this off. And you see it's, it'll, it's trying to die there, so it doesn't really help. So let's go ahead and look inside this throttle body here and see what it looks like. Now I may have to shut the car off just so you can kind of hear me a little bit better. There we go. All right, let's take a look at it. Looks like I've got just a little bit left, not much. And, uh, oh wow, what a difference. Oh, much cleaner. So that's really helped out. And you can see, you can see that's shiny now on the sides. And the butterfly there is uh, a lot cleaner too. And this is one way you can get in there and do that. Now, I will say, when you're going to do this, um, you can put the little pinhole wherever you want. But if your uh, throttle body has a soft rubber in, right directly in front of it, you can actually put the hole back here. I just did it back here for now just to uh, go ahead and uh, do the video. But I may actually put one back here later. A little closer to that butterfly, but yeah, what a difference. Look at it one more time. Much cleaner. So I'll go ahead and start this up here. Now I, ha uh, I do have just a little bit left, so I may go ahead and just spray around the outside there and clean this up just a little bit, just to help it out. And uh, might as well use up the whole can because it's pretty much gone. And much better. And like I said, if you have a little left, you might want to go ahead. If your car, if it's running really bad, your vehicle, you might want to go ahead and take this guy here off your idle air control valve and just clean it out and uh, make sure that you've got it pretty much glummed up. Now, if you want, you can use up the two cans in an engine like this. If you have a big V8 like I do, this is a 4.6 uh, Expedition motor. And uh, it uh, helps to uh, do uh, two cans really in the bigger engines. But the smaller engines, you can just do... Uh, one can so let's go here and start this up and I want to show you how much nicer now it idles there we go what a big difference so now all you got to do is put your screw in tighten it down and you have an excess port later to go ahead and do that again if you have to but the engine is running really good now 
You got some gas here. The response is a lot better too, so that really took care of a lot of the uh, rough idling and everything. And hopefully this video will help you out. And let me go, let's shut this off real quick. Live action video. You know where we've heard that at. So there you go. And like I said, all you need is a little screw and a pick and maybe a little bit of a drill bit to get that on there uh, with, like the hole, and stick that in there. So, but like I said, you can uh, do the excess port anywhere you want. You can do it in a vacuum line, uh, tap a little hole in it, or out here somewhere. Just make sure you do it past the mass airflow sensor. So you don't want to cause any issues with that. And if you're uh, having a pretty good day, just go out and buy you a can of mass airflow sensor and go ahead and clean these guys off too. Uh, clean them out and that way you'll know your system is pretty clean and you shouldn't have uh, any issues and I'm pretty sure this will help you uh, get your vehicle running a little bit better if it's stalling and a little sluggish never hurts to clean them out anyway especially with the gas they sell us nowadays <laughs> all right well guys that's it thanks for watching the video I'll go ahead and tighten this down and we'll uh, end the video here and if you like any of my other videos please subscribe and uh, share whatever like I said I'm here to help people out that are on a tight budget because we've all been there, right? we got to save our pennies somehow. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day, and I'll see you later. Be careful, and later.